Ibadan in Lauren Road. The game changer on the road transformation agenda of the President Goodluck Abella Jonathan's administration being executed by the Honorable Minister of Works, architect Mike Onolememem in Ibadan, is the Ibadan Ilorin Road. The road, which has since been completed, has completely changed the unacceptable and dehumanizing ways of life of the people prior to 2011. The Ibadan Ilorin Road, which links different parts of the country, helps to transport goods and services. The road users reminisce on the state of things before the transformation began in 2011. My name is Engineer Merekbe, the engineer in charge of this road. This is the origin of the road. The road description is dualization of a badon, a lowering road, section one, a badon to Oyo. It's already been completed. Uh, it was commissioned in July by the Honorable Minister. It's 100% completed. The length is 45 kilometers. The length is 45 kilometers and uh, it has 12 bridges and uh, three interchanges. It leads from Ibadan here to Oyo town. It connects the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. It's a major north-south arterial road. Directly to a lorry. This is section one. It's in three sections. Section 1 is from Ibadan to Oyo. Section 2 is from Oyo to Ogbomosho. And Section 3 is from Ogbomosho to Elorin. So it's the entire stretch that's called Ibadan, Elorin Road. It's a dual carriageway, four lane dual carriageway. Uh, section 1, as you have seen, is totally completed. And the vehicle, the vehicle is almost about uh, maybe. One can say the traffic composition is about 60% heavy articulated commercial vehicles. It was done by DW. One of the three interchanges on this project. This is the Ojo interchange. You can see that the vehicles that are going to the north, the one going to Lagos, and then the one that wants to turn into uh, barracks. That's Odogbo Cantonment, the third division of Nigerian Army. And the other side is goes to um, University of Ibadan. Uh, this interchange has really succeeded in decongesting the traffic at Ojo. Before now, it was a nightmare to use this uh, Ojo. And there is the IITA, the International uh, Institute of Tropical Agriculture, uh, that is on the old road. So the interchange here has succeeded in decongesting the traffic around here. It's a full clover leaf interchange. Since the road was constructed, we were very, very happy because many accidents that was happened before the road was constructed, it has stopped. Because when, when somebody coming from either from Kano or from far away, either from Iloni, when if you can, from here, from Iloni to Ibadan or to Lagos, you can spend three hours. So by coming, when you spend one hour from Ilorin to Ibadan, from here 
to just that place. We will, will spend two, three hours. We spent two, three hours before going out from this just a job. But when the road was constructed, we are very happy. Everything is okay for the masses and for the drivers. We are, we are, we are very, very happy for that. What's the travel time like now? Yeah, the travel now is very, very easy. When you left, you left Lorin, you are going to Lagos. You spend roughly two hours. That's against uh, what before? Against three hours or four hours. Within just, just within, from here to that, uh, to that roundabout there, you can spend three, four hours. But when the road was constructed, we were very happy, everything is okay. So we thank God for what that. Is, what is the maintenance of the car like now? Well, the maintenance of cars is very, very easy. We don't have any problem. Both the car and both we, even both the sellers on um, roadside, there's no problem. Because before, when the trailer was going, you would just see people be shouting, it's, it's, it has backed, it has backed. The trailer drum, it has come back and killed many people. But now, everything is okay. We thank God and we thank the federal government for that. So you don't normally, uh, was it, in, in, then, was it a matter of the, uh, your cars always going to the mechanic? By the, by the time. Always going to the mechanic, but now we are okay. So we thank God, we thank federal government for that. So that is it. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, so far less, it's too much. That time goes slow, it's too much. But now, we are free. But that, the roundabout way we had say, it's too much. Now it goes slow now. If you say now, that, that roundabout, you know too much. You need. No, no, you never get any goes slow here or, or job. But now, with the manager and small, small. Uh, yeah. So, but your work, now say the road open like this, how do you think it help your work? Uh, no, you know, you don't, my work, you don't take my work, go back. No, you know, you don't fight for that new, new, new road. What you say coming to? Thank God. And they tell you now, say, now, say, they don't open the road. Uh, more people could not come here now. Uh, we, 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 we thank God. Uh, tell me how they help you. Uh, if you see me in this place, the carry tire come here, do it, and take it go. No work, no work. So, now I bless it to everybody. We thank God. Actually, before 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 they open the road, go slow always happen this place. So and it is difficult for most of us when we are going and when we are coming from house to work or when we are going. But now we thank God after they open the road, so everything is clear. So it, 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 make, it make it easy for us to quick come to work or whenever we are going back. So. We really thank the uh, government for what they did by opening the road for us. And we thank uh, the construction company that collected the, the job because they do very good job. So, so we thank uh, PWU because PWU, they are a very good construction company. So, and we thank the federal government of Nigeria so for well, uh, well work, they do work very well. So. When the road bad, uh, we have a lot of problems here by causing odor. There are many, many odor in our area. Even Ojo, if you, anybody here Ojo in those days, they will never come, they will not allow to come here. But now, we are very happy. Many accidents. If you look at that junction, before this road construction, there are many, many accidents. Before this road construction, occurred by all trailers, all trailers park, all those trailers at the Sabo. There are all many, there are many, they are causing all the problems we are facing here before. But when they are doing the road, everything totally changed. So the motor just go up and down, there's no more any accident again. All the areas we are fine, 
So there is not any fracas again in this sojourn. That's it. What about the motto? What about the economy? The economy is okay. Why do they help the people now? Uh, well, 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 you know the new this uh, road, every market totally change. The motto, no damage again, free movement, no any fracas again. We are okay for it. Yes, yes, more people coming to live. Mm, we just thank God. Thank God and we thank government about the new development, development we get from that. That's it. Okay, we thank God, right? One, it's okay, but secondly, the only problem I have with this road is just that and uh, second hand about it's like it's too big. So it's it do cause the old job that we do face here. For instance, Every nine, nine days they do spend and they do is their uh, or job market. So at that moment, we always know that order is always there because of that roundabout. Assuming the roundabout is short, right, it could have be okay. But the road is okay, right? Everything here is is good. We even like the changes that we are we are seeing here. So that's just it. Like you know, everywhere is neat. We can see there and there, far and near. So that's it. You can see what's coming here and what's going on. Everywhere is open. Yeah. Before they do this road, yeah. what was the problem here? Ah, you no, know, like accidents. You know, everything is rough. So there are many, many battles that occur here. Like you know, like for instance, someone wants to cross from other side to the other side. You know, when there is no roundabout, nothing, nothing. We have only four lanes here. You know, this roundabout they make this road. So when they when the roundabout is not there before, right? Accident will occur. Or accident occurs, and maybe anything can happen. Sure, but I didn't know how to describe those words. So, but it's okay, right? I love it. Everywhere is clean. We can see ourselves clearly. We can see what is going on. That's it. And uh, for your business, mm, our business, right? It's good. But I will let you know the truth. These are the people boss. It's good, though. Because you know that they don't their money, but it's still, it's still affecting us. Okay, likewise, why right? if someone is going to total here, you do carry by 50 naira, but this one do carry 20 naira. Which one are you going to avoid? You have we'll go for a lower bidder. That's just it. I will tell you the facts. Yes, so so boss, no problem. But you see, sometimes the main the more the merrier. Because if now alone and Africa people not get transport. It's not like that. No, no, no. Different transport there now. It's okay, shall we thank God for our government? Hello, That's your bad job, please. Before then, how was the road? Eh? Before them, what was the before them, before, 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 go to too much. <laughs> but now we are enjoying it. Only that turn about is too, is too wide. Alright, thank you. Alright, easy for you. <laughs> God will pay you well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, well People small, but huh? it helped people. Uh, this person like you go be tell us the history of this road when it was bad and now that it's good. Uh, now it's quite all right, good because it's worst before, especially when you are traveling from a uh, war road down to Oyo, there is a lot of a uh, old drop, but as, as at now, there's no old drop, everything is going smoothly. 
Actually, the road is helping us to increase our sales. Uh, before they uh, before they do this road, so this road is is, is creating enough of a uh, 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 PC or something, you know. Then the the the, the 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 business is not moving, but now business are moving and everybody are going conveniency. The this road is even people from um, one year from. Uh, Aurora and Co. If everybody are going move, uh, easily, and there is no there is no problem about the the road now. Yes, yes, we are satisfied with the road because even uh, our uh, our cars are, are, are even there is a, a, a space for us whereby. This road is, is helping us to move our six. It's encouraging us to move our six. People are coming in conveniency, and even they are even they are patronize uh, patronize us every day, day in and day out. Uh, the road is, is very fine, and the uh, safety the business is very fine now. Uh, before, they are, they, before they never consult this road, there is a lot of go slow. You understand, and now everywhere is free for the motor road. Yes, but he, 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 he did not stop the movement I'm of the not vehicle. That is a problem. I'm saying that this is people. Yes, it's, it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's seven people as well. Yeah. It's seven people. Do you have a shop with? Yes, yeah, my shop is very close. And uh, I'm selling the car. There yeah, was experience uh, before they do this road. Uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of accidents occurred. There are a lot of accidents down there. Some trailer will just fail their base, run down there and kill many people in that area. And uh, as well, when the road has already been completed, the thing has been resolved, so has been come down bigger. That's what, what I see. The water around there. The Federal Ministry of Works, under my leadership, has continued to make concerted efforts to complete all major ongoing road and bridge projects and scale up maintenance on federal roads across Nigeria to ensure that federal highways become indeed better and safer. Let me say that the six geopolitical zones of the country in 2013 fed the impact of road infrastructure development as improved federal roads continue to serve as a platform of enhancing socioeconomic integration in our country. By the end of 2013, each geopolitical zone in Nigeria witnessed enhanced construction activities covering a total corridor of about 6,500 kilometers from Lagos to Ibadan, from Benin to Ore, from Kano to Medugure, from Gombe to Yola, from Kano to Katsina, from Sokoto to Makera, from Abakaliki to Ikon, and from Edungu to Potaka, among others. The entire country was turned into a huge construction site in 2013 as the transformation of the road sector reached a cruising level. The cumulative summary of projects in the six the political zone put together amounted to a distance of 6,000, of about 6,500 kilometers, made up of about 184 projects, with a total project portfolio of approximately 1.5 trillion naira. The ministry recorded impressive performance in 2013. Accumulatively, this past three years of the President Jonathan's administration. Despite the daunting challenges in revenue inflow uh, that we experienced in 2013 and the consequential lean budgetary releases, 
The Federal Ministry of Works completed nine road projects nationwide, totaling a distance of about 421 kilometers at the cost of about 57 billion naira. The projects include the rehabilitation to Borwetto Road in Benue State, which was brought to full completion under the year in the year under review. The Otubo Otuba Ayangba Ajakuta Okene Road in Kogu State. The Ningi Yada Kogumi Fuska Mata Road in Bauchi State. The Yana Shira Zale Road in Bauchi State. The Wukari Takun Road in Taraba State. The Binyore Road. The Binyore Expressway in the Edo and Ondo States. Enugu Abakaliki Road in the Enugu and Ebony States, the Ogoja Junction Incon Road in Cross River State, the Ado Ilumoba Agbado Ikare Road in Equity State. Other roads completed by the President Jonathan's administration since 2011 include about 47 projects which I have copiously given the names, but for the benefit of Nigerians who may not have known, I think I will want to go through uh, those numbers of roads, the details of those roads that the administration of President Gulag Jonathan had completed since May 2011. They include the, the completion of the dualization of Ibadan and Loading Road Section 1 from Ibadan to Oyo, the completion of the reconstruction of Von Manchok Road in Plateau State. The completion of the repair works of Todd Mayland Bridge, the completion of the dualization of Onicha Wedi Road and Onicha Eastern Bypass in Anambra State, completion of the rehabilitation of Uba and Balala Road, completion of the rehabilitation of Funtua Kuso Sokoto Road, completion of the rehabilitation of Obiozora Uburu Ishagu Road, Member State, completion of the access road to Kaduna Refinery. Completion of the construction and rehabilitation of Bogon and Wall Road in Oyo State. Completion of the rehabilitation of Oweri Aba Road in Imo and Abia State. Completion of the rehabilitation of Kasina Dara Road in Kasina State. Completion of the rehabilitation and construction of Jebu Ibo and Jebule Ararami First Sekuna Road in Ogun State. And of course, a number of other emergency. Uh, road repairs in Gombe on Gombe Patiscon Road, rehabilitation with, of uh, Okija in Hembosi at four Ebenator in uh, Anambra State, construction of Jalindo Kuna Lao Road, the access road to Kaduna Refinery, the access road to Wari Refinery, completion of the dualization road to Ome Port, the Gombe Bypass in Gombe State. And so many other projects which you will find in your list, including those on which periodic maintenance have been carried out in a, you know, using the platform of the Road Center Development Team, which is the collaborative platform between the Federal Ministry of Work, the World Bank, and the Africa Development Bank. In 2013, in line with the transformation agenda of the Federal Government, and our strong determination to make Nigeria roads better and safer and effectively support economic growth and national integration, the Federal Ministry of Work awarded 32 number projects. This includes the rehabilitation of Ilore Kaba, Obagana Road, in Kogi, Ankara States, the project of which was flagged off early in the year by my good self, the dualization of Kano Casino Road, the rehabilitation and reconstruction of a new protocol dual carriageway, which was flagged off in December by myself in Abia State in two sessions. Rehabilitation and reconstruction of, of a new protocol dual carriageway session two. Rehabilitation of a purpose with the expressway session two. The rehabilitation, reconstruction, and expansion work on Lagos by the dual carriageway. Rehabilitation, reconstruction, and expansion on Lagos Ibadan Dual Carriage Session 2. The design and construction of Adomagbai Egba Akure Road, which was also flagged up early this year. 
in Edo and Ondo State, completion of Igboli, Okin Connector Road in Sululere, local government area in Oyo State, rehabilitation of Mokwa Pida Road in Niger State, rehabilitation of Akure Elisha Road in Akure and Oshu States, construction of Ajase Igbo of Irene. In Oshun State, construction of Bida Sachi Nopeko Patege Road in Niger State, rehabilitation of River Eba Bridge at Cheche in Niger State, rehabilitation of Ilori Jeba Mokwa Benegwari Kaduna Road in Niger and Kaduna State, rehabilitation of Jamai Pasha Road in Plateau State. Rehabilitation of Mumbi Maiha Sora Road in Adamawa State. Rehabilitation of Yashi Duguri Degare Yalo Road in Bauchi State. Rehabilitation of Tumu Pindiga Kachere Road in Gombe State. Rehabilitation of Wukari Akwana Road in Taraba State. Construction of Takum Dogo Gawa Road in Taraba State, construction of Kankara Gubi Road in Kasida State, construction of Hiala Alu Road in Anambra State.